what's up guys welcome back to another vlog so I've traveled across town one hour plus to try a burger so yeah let's go check it out so I'm going to a burger joint here at One North and yeah I've heard a lot of good reviews about it so
<laughs> I smell at the kid. Yeah, and he seems to be crying more. <laughs> anyway, that was one of the best burger that I've ever had here in Singapore. And one, this, you know, nothing special. It's a very basic cheeseburger, but it tastes really, really delicious. And one comment that I want to make is that, you know, if you're a person like, you know, a person who can't differentiate, you know, what's a good burger and what's not, you can go to those burger chains like fast food burger chains, KFC, McDonald's, sorry, not KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, eat there first and then eat this burger. Then you will know the difference. Um, the buns are baked in house, so yeah, it's really nice. Um, yeah, the sauces, I wouldn't say they are the best, but yeah, overall, overall, it's still a great burger. Yeah, the cheese fries and the cheese fries and <laughs> the truffle fries are amazing as well. And their lemonade, like, lemonade is great. Um, yeah, overall, one of the best burger out there that I've tried. I'm definitely coming back here to, you know, try some of their other burger as well. They have butter burger. It's like, you know, kaya butter, the thick, very thick. I saw the, the thickness of the butter. Get like two slices of that in the burger. Same sauce, same uh, caramelized onions. And yeah, looks, looks pretty good. They have other stuff as well, which I can't remember. They have like four or five items on the menu, but yeah, I went with a classic cheeseburger and yeah, it was great, it was great. Okay, later on we are heading out to a bar to meet up with some of my friends and yeah, I'll bring you guys along. Yeah, this vlog kind of ended up, um, you know, it's quite sad. So yeah, basically, we I met up with a few of my friends, and then we were just talking about the country situation and like our little escape to Singapore and sharing everything that is happening in Myanmar. So yeah, since you know, majority of my viewers are Burmese from abroad, from abroad who are living in other countries like Japan, US. So yeah, let me just, you know, update you guys. I'm pretty sure you might not know it or you may know it, but yeah, I think it's quite important. Yeah, everyone is fleeing the country and yeah, just because of the, you know, the mandatory military service that the Burmese military implemented. And yeah, everyone is just, you know, flying away. I have, I have friends who are, you know, really at the top level in Myanmar, bankers, uh, business owners, entrepreneurs. They are all just, you know, fleeing the country in all way possible to Bangkok, um, to Vietnam, to Singapore, US, Japan. Um, yeah, everywhere. And it's just, and some of my friends who are back in Myanmar, they called me and they told me that, you know, now at this period, you know, like public transport, there is nobody. Like, you know, it's, you can get a seat anytime you take the public transport because there's just not much people left in the country. And that is just, I mean, yeah, it sounds, it sounds funny, yes, but it's quite depressing and it's quite sad 
but I mean this is what it is this is what we are going through um, yeah none of us even like you know like those people me I, I'm in the middle right I'm in the middle where middle of everything right but for those people who are business owner like top level bankers to be you know abandoning their post their position and flying here is a real pain for them and yeah we were just you know sharing everything like everything about politics and it was just quite intense sad and yeah a lot of anger between in that like, you know inside us so yeah that's how the night went um, yeah so that's pretty much it I did not thought that you know I didn't think that um, the, this vlog is gonna be this way and I will be talking about this stuff but yeah just sharing with you guys it is what it is um, yeah we just have to you know have a uh, have faith keep working hard no matter where we are and then yeah just you know focus on our life focus on helping others and yeah just pray that you know one day we can go home um, yeah at least even if I'm a, if I become a citizen of Singapore at least I get to go home in a, to a peaceful country so yeah that's all we are hoping for um, hopefully everything goes well within a couple of years yeah it's been a while already and we have we have endured this 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 thing so yeah hopefully everything goes well yeah that is it for me for this vlog um thank you guys so much for watching um, i'm pretty sure this is like uh and a very off topic uh, nothing related to the title or or the video itself but yeah i just have to share with you guys just be because of the because of that night particularly and yeah i learned a lot from them as well so yeah i just have to come out here and talk about it so yeah that is it guys um thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you and i'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.